Welcome, Jared Edwards. He is from the Real Cowboys Association, and they're presenting the 18th annual Jackson, Mississippi Black Rodeo this weekend. Jared, thanks so much for being here. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. I want to get right to it. Folks who don't understand or know the Black Rodeo culture, uh, tell me a little more about the history of the Black Rodeo in the United States. Well, the history of the Black Rodeo come from in the old days, the cowboys used to round up cattle. Uh, they even had to round up wild horses. Uh, the Indians, you know, survived in the in the range, the Western Range. Uh, then you have the Americans that were in the Western Range, but then we had the African Americans, to where one African American, Bill Pickett, um, he actually took down a cow with his teeth by biting the cow's tongue. Wow! Well, the, I mean, the lip, the lip of the cow. So. Uh, when he did that, that created the event that we have now, which is called steer wrestling. Uh, and that's when they had to take the cow down in order to brand the cow. So in that wide open range, you know, when they see a cow loose, they don't know which cattleman or which cow owner owns that cow or where it's supposed to be, what ranch it comes from. You told me before we started that the cowboy culture in America is so diverse and inclusive and that cowboys throughout the ages have really worked together to make sure that that their craft and their trade was uh, was boosted and was was done in a way that was pleasing to everybody. Yes, uh, the cowboys, they they work together, you know, from sun up to sundown. Um, they have became best of friends, you know, some of them. Are, are like brothers or like sisters, you know, the ladies in the barrel racing or the calf ropers or team ropers. And, and they call each other. They check on each other every day. And, you know, a lot of people get lost in titles. And the main thing is that we just are showcasing, exemplifying what Western heritage, heritage that we took a part of and what was created from what we earned, what we worked for. It's not about color, and it's about uh, the love of the life for, to be a cowboy or cowgirl. The 18th Annual Real Cowboys Association presents Jackson, Mississippi Black Rodeo. It's this weekend, but it's a really special weekend. You've added on to your festivities. Can you give me a quick rundown about what we can expect at this weekend's event? Yes, sir. Uh, the Friday night, we'll have a, a Southern Soul concert. Uh, which will be all of the top artists in Southern Soul, uh, very adult music. Uh, that's some, something that all all ages can listen to. Uh, and then we're having the rodeo that Saturday after that. But this year we're making it a, a complete weekend that we do something. Um, and making it special um, in tribute to my father, um, trying to make make sure the rodeo, the event becomes and be and continues to be a success. What can we expect when we come to the actual rodeo on Saturday? Is it like a typical rodeo? Will we see some of those familiar events that we may be used to? This rodeo will have uh, all the typical events that were happening in the Western days as far as team roping, barrel racing, calf roping, bulldogging, uh, and bull riding. Um, so we will have the uh, express pony relay race where they had to deliver the mail so it's like a relay race, you know, like track, if you can think of it in that concept. But we have, we're going to showcase that. Um, all the ladies, all the guys, they're coming to compete for the number one prize. We're going to put links in our show notes to tickets and more information about this weekend's events at the Mississippi State Fairgrounds. Now, Jared, earlier you mentioned your father, Frank Penny Edwards, the late Frank Penny Edwards. And I heard a story... Uh, a couple of years ago that his dying wish was for you to keep the Jackson Rodeo. You've got other rodeos around the country, but this one was important to him. Why was Jackson so important? Uh, Jackson has been a great uh, place to come to, a great city that has supported the rodeo from the first time that we came. Uh, Jackson also has history here. Um, so my father, uh, when he was in hospice, asked that I continue this rodeo in Jackson and never to let it go. And it was from support and it was from the endeavors that he took on to make sure we were able to bring tons and thousands of people from different states here. You know, Atlanta, Alabama, 
uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, um, all parts of Mississippi. Some people even have driven from South Carolina to Jackson. Uh, we have had calls from Portland, Oregon, Vegas, uh, California, uh, Arizona. Those people are buying tickets and flying in for this event. And uh, we just want to be a, a, a association that we include everybody. This is a rodeo where everybody is somebody. This is a jam-packed weekend, Jarrett. So if folks want tickets, again, we'll have those links in our show notes. Real Cowboy Association's Jarrett Edwards, thanks for being here today. Thank you, sir. Have a great day.